morning pals today is tuesday but it feels like a monday because my monday did not go according to plan but what actually happened is that my kids were off sick and i ended up having to go out and um see a friend in the end so it was just, yeah it was like a whirlwind day um i also had a dentist appointment except i didn't have a dentist appointment i thought i had a dentist appointment um yesterday so i turned up at the dentist and i was a little bit late so i like apologized like oh i'm really sorry i'm late um and she was like mm, i can't i can't see your name on the list for today and i was like oh great i've come on the wrong day this is like a regular occurrence <sighs> why am i like this um and she was like oh you're actually booked for tomorrow which would be today and she was so lovely and she said do you know what i'll just phone through and see if the dentist has got time to see you today since you're here and i was thinking like oh no don't like go to any trouble because it's my fault i've obviously got it wrong um but bless her she did she phoned through to the dentist and he was so lovely he was just like oh since you're here you know it's fine um so he just did a quick check off my teeth and he was like yep yeah, everything's good i'll see you next year um so yeah that was really sweet of them um because I hadn't realised I should be going there today. But I'm now not going there today because I went yesterday. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I was at the dentist yesterday morning. Then I had to go to the pharmacy to pick up um, medicine for the kids. And then my friend needed me. So I was like, I had to leave the kids at home with Lewis and then ran off to see my friend. And then <laughs> by the time I got back, it was just like, yeah, the, the day had gone. Um, and there was no way I was going to get any work done. So I didn't even bother to try. Um, so yeah, it's now Tuesday. We're in the office. I've got quite a few orders to do, which is nice because I just had like a little flurry of orders coming through over the weekend. Um, so yeah, that was really nice. Uh, so yeah, I've got orders to pack this morning. Um, and then I think I'm going to start work on the goodie bag for... So this will be the March goodie bag and it will go out at the end of February so that you can use it in March. Um, it's not available to buy yet. I haven't got that far. I haven't even got as far as like prototyping the thing, nothing. Um, so I say I haven't got as far as prototyping the thing. I've had one go at it and it's not quite come out how I wanted it to. Um, this goodie bag is going to have a kind of a dynamic element, I guess is what you'd call it. Um, and that is taking some figuring out. So I've had a few goes, um, but I'll show you properly what I mean later on when I, I will probably make one up and yeah, try and try and get it all going the way I want it to go. Um, before we get into orders though, I've got to show you a couple of cutie little things that I've got. Um, some of you might know my friend Sophie from Sophie Doodles. Um, she lives in the next village from me um, and she runs a small business doing illustration and sticker sheets and she also turns her illustrations into these like cute little felt decorations and like bunting. I think she does some like embroidery hoop type things as well. Um, and yeah, she just like, I just think she's so clever at what she does, turning like an illustration into an actual physical felt sewn like she's, she's just so clever um so what i actually have here is a christmas decoration that i should have had before christmas which we both forgot about um and it's like a little red sparkly car with a little christmas tree on it and i thought it was adorable and the back actually has got um a similar design very very cute um but what i also got from her which was part of her Valentine's collection and she didn't, um, it wasn't on her shop in this colour, um, but she was like, I want to try out some different colours, can I do a different colour for you? I'm like, yes please! So I have got the cutest little felt mixtape, like how adorable is that? Actually I think it's supposed to go that way up. How adorable is that? That's so cute, I love it. Um, and you could have across this piece, um, you could have some right input across there which she sews by hand what the heck um but yeah you could have this like personalized um with a name or like 
a, a few words or whatever um, but I said just keep mine blank because that's the kind of person I am if I had a mixtape I would not write on it what it is and it would just be a surprise every time I played it um but I thought this was adorable so what we did is we did a little swap I gave her a Q-Pig goodie bag and she in return gave me the cutest little mixtape and I'm gonna like put it on my wall somewhere I haven't decided yet but it's gonna go on my wall somewhere this Christmas one will go away some um, in my Christmas box until Christmas um but it will be coming out again um but yeah this I thought could just have a permanent spot on the wall probably next to my other little thing that she did me last year which is this anti-pumpkin spice latte little picket sign uh, which is really cute so they will end up on the wall together probably most likely let me show you what else i've got going on on my wall because i was busy in here at the weekend so i've obviously got all my bits and bobs that i usually have across here um and i started to put some things on the wall before and then didn't really get very far with it and this part of the wall i really wanted to fill with postcards and stuff but i just didn't have enough of them but at the weekend we went to smith's toys and i found the cutest little jiggly pop <laughs> I don't know if you can see that well on camera, but it's actually like a corduroy material. So it's like ribbed and I love it. And I've got my little Arnold, is his name Arnold? I think it is, Squishmallow on there as well. So this is, I bought this um, stand to use on my craft fair display. Um, apologies for the really wobbly camera work. Um, so I bought this stand for my craft fair display and it's just been in the way. So I decided just to fix it to the wall, put some plushies on it. I think it looks kind of cute with the rest of my, with the rest of my setup. It's quite adorable. I'm so small. I'm sorry for the terrible camera angle. Um, but yeah, really what I'd like to do is fill this part of the wall with more stuff. Um, I have a clock that I'd really like to buy as well, but I haven't got around to getting that yet. Um, and then I'd like some more postcards and things to go on here. So I'm going to maybe order some bits and bobs, we'll see. Um, but first we have our own orders to do. um i've got more to pack but they were already made these are the ones i just made up got some i squealy like you cards those ones are done and i did also a couple of i heart you so pug and much um this one though it's gonna have to go in the seconds pile because it's got a tiny little mark on it there um i don't even know what that is it looks like it was already that mark was already on the card before it went through the printer so that will go in the seconds pile um but these ones well not these ones are fine um so yeah i'm gonna get the orders packed up now that i've got everything ready for them all and then we can do whatever it was i said we were going to do after that which i've already forgotten <laughs>
All oh, right, pals, card orders are done. And I had one Cupid pin to send out today as well, so that's all done. Um, you might have noticed from watching me do that that I don't use, or I'm not using... Yeah. Bye! Come on. I'm not using the Cupid wrapping paper when it's a single card order. And the reason for that is that when I send out just a single card, it's thin enough that I can and light enough that I can send it as a letter size. Um, but if I put the wrapping in, it's borderline on whether or not it goes as a large letter. So I'm really worried that I'm going to put the fancy wrapping on it and then the customer's going to get charged because I haven't paid enough postage. So if I don't put the wrapping in for a single card order, then it just eliminates that problem. So that's the reason why I'm not putting the wrapping in for just a single card. Um, also, it seems a little bit unnecessary for a single card. So because they go in like flat envelopes anyway, you don't really get that whole unboxing thing. You kind of just pull it out of the envelope. So it, I feel like it's a little bit unnecessary for a single card order anyway. Um, but anytime you order something that goes in a large letter size box, then it will come in the nice wrapping because there's room to do that. So yeah, that's why if you're wondering, I haven't used the Cupid wrapping paper on most of those orders. Right, before we go any further, I really need to show you the state of the office that I'm working in right now. I know quite often on the vlog, it, I, I mean, I know I'm chaotic and I make a mess, and I think that's quite apparent, but I know often what you see on the vlog is like my nice little aesthetic wall with my nice little tidy desk. And what you actually don't get to see is the real state of this room. And it's really stressing me out at the minute. So I am about to do something about it, but let me show you what I'm actually working with before I start. Okay, this is my desk. You see this constantly. It's a bit messy at the moment. And I've got my nice little shelves that I put all my things on and it looks kind of cute. This is a trash heap. Um, all these drawers are full of, they're not organized at all. They're like, just, I don't, I, it's chaos working in here. It really is. Um, it's my own fault because I'm messy. I just am. But what we also have is this disaster, which I have kind of explained before, um, but I will explain again. So basically, since we moved into this house, we've been waiting to build a shed. And truth be told, we just can't afford it. It's every time we manage to save up a bit of money to buy a new shed and we need quite a big shed, something happens, the car goes wrong, the boiler breaks down, like there's always something. So thus far we have, since we moved here, not been able to afford to have a shed, which means a lot of the things that should be in the sheds, like power tools and like DIY stuff and like, what else have we got around here? Saws and odd bits of wood. They just have ended up in the office, which is not an issue because it was supposed to be a temporary measure, but the temporary measure has become a lot more permanent than any of us would have really liked. Um, and I am rapidly running out of space in this office. I have the tiniest desk in the world, which is fine, but I am doing more and more work now. So the desk is fine if I have one thing to do, but generally I have like 12 things on the go at once. And I really need a space to put my computer. I need the printer to be clear of rubbish so that I can actually use it. And I need a separate worktop, essentially. Ju I just need a work surface. That's what I need because I have the computer out and I'm printing things and I need one extra work surface to be able to... So like once I've printed some stickers, I need a surface to be able to mount them on the mat before they go in the machine. I don't have a surface to do that right now. But what I'm thinking is if I can stack up some of this DIY stuff in the corner... I can free up a little bit of space in this unit that I have, or on top of this unit that I have here. Um, this thing. I, if I can put these things somewhere, 
then I will free up a little bit of space to be able to use the top of that unit as a work surface because right now I am struggling. I know I'm messy. I know I'm chaotic. I don't know how to be any other way. Um, I just need one more little workspace. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and stack up some of this stuff. I mean, admittedly, some of this stuff that's on this pile of junk is, it's not really junk, is my Christmas stock. So I've got a couple of boxes that I used them when I was taking stock to the Christmas fairs that I did. I've got other fairs coming up this year. I've got one book for March, one book for May. I think that's actually it at the moment. Um, so I will need to use those boxes to transport stock. But right now I can pack down everything that's in those boxes into one box, stack them up so they're taking up less space. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's chaotic in here and it is really stressing me out at the minute. So um, I'm, I'm going to deal with that before I deal with anything else. Um, that needs to be like priority number one today. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. don't know about anybody else but I can put up with things like this for so long and then they suddenly become so overwhelming like it's like the flick of a switch it's like I will live in chaos for any given amount of time until suddenly I can't live in chaos anymore and I'm like this has to change immediately so um yeah this wasn't on the agenda for today but I will feel much better when it's done and I genuinely like have felt this morning like really uptight about being in here because it's messy and I'm running out of room and I generally generally genuinely feel like oh, it's gonna be like a massive sigh of relief when it's done okay it's definitely not perfect but I now have a space that I can use as a work surface here Um, still have all this stuff which will get dealt with at some point. <laughs> These bits of wood are the trim from this um, bit of ceiling, um, which we haven't actually put up on that side. We'll get to it eventually, but I'm gonna deal with this mess now. And I've got an extra little bit of workspace that I can use, which is amazing. I'm gonna go through all the drawers and sort out what's in there because they're just chaos quite honestly so yeah I wasn't really expecting to do a bit of a spring clean today but here we are
ah, this is so much better. Although this is still kind of junky and janky. But I've got a little laptop here and I've put my post on it. So this is all I really need. I just need an extra little space to put stuff. Um, and I can like you put my cutting mats and stuff on there while I'm using the machines and I've got space for the laptop. This is gonna be so much better, even though it's not really any tidier, um, it's given me a little bit more space. So I am gonna go off and make another coffee because this cup is empty. And yeah, and I shall come back and do a bit more work. Ah, I cannot tell you how much better I feel for just having a sort out and a tidy up and now I've got all these bags hanging. Excuse me, that was rude. And now all these bags hanging here. Um, they look nice, don't they? All my gift bags. Uh, yeah, so I feel so much better for that. Um, and it means I'm now gonna open up my laptop and uh, just check in on my Notion because I use my Notion to kind of plan in tasks throughout the weeks and days and whatnot um, because if I don't I just get in such a muddle I don't know what I'm doing and it's a bit of a nightmare so um, yeah I have every my I take all the contents of my brain and just stick it in Notion and hopefully organise it in a way that's way more easy to navigate than my actual brain um, so yeah I have got some some things to be working on mostly it's going to be the next goodie bag um, the next goodie bag is going to be flower themed. Lewis has just come in with a sludge. Yeah, so the next goodie bag is going to be flower themed um, because it will be the March bag and we're thinking like springtime and all this loveliness. Um, but there are going to be, or there have been, some logistical, not logistical, mechanical, constructional, I'm not sure. Um, constructional trials in getting this thing to work the way I wanted it to work um, and I think I'm like this close to solving the problem um, so I might just film myself pottering about making one up and show you it at the end where hopefully fingers crossed it will work and then I will be able to show you what we're doing with this goodie bag and where we're going with it um so yeah bear with bear with and all shall be revealed definitely have a few adjustments to make with this but the idea of this whole bag is that it's like a seed packet um so again adjust some adjustments need to be made in the actual construction of the thing um but i really wanted it to have like this cellophane window so that you can see all the little seeds in the packet and you can like shake them around and stuff you see that it's really cute but I wanted to do these as stickers, but they were not heavy enough to move around in the packet like that. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna have to just print them on card. We're getting there. I still have quite a lot of adjustments to make, but the general idea works. So ah, this is very exciting. Right, so the way that I am doing these um, little bags, it's not giving the little seeds as much movement as I'd like them to have. So I'm gonna attempt something else 
and see if I can get them kind of moving around so you, you can really like shake them a bit more. Um, I will get this figured out because I'm like desperate for this idea to work because I just think it's too cute to just scrap it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna attempt to like some other idea. I'm not 100% sure what yet. Um, and I'll let you know how that goes. I'm very red because I was getting a bit stressed out um, trying to make this bag work. Oh, I've put my tripod on it. So, it you can see the little seeds. They all move around in here now. Look at this. Isn't it cute? My little seeds. Oh, I'm obsessed. Um, this bag is pretty trash because I've pulled it apart so many times because it was working and then it wasn't working and then I was like, I can't get them to move but now they do move. So yeah, I think I've figured out like a little system. So we've got actual little seeds in there. And you could shake them around. Look at that, it's cute. But um, I think that's it for today because my eye is twitching like mad. Um, this has taken me a long time to figure out. So um, I'm glad we finally got somewhere with it. And then over the next week or so, I can be like, um, yeah, making these up and getting all the things ready that are going to go inside them. So this, I'm hoping this will be ready to launch by the end of February so that it's, people have it ready for March. Um, and it's a little seed packet, little blooming marvellous with my little seeds in there. Oh, I can't get them to move now. I've squashed this so many times. <laughs> like They don't move anymore. They do. Isn't it cute? Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this. I'm going to go off for a break because, oh, I'm really hot now. Um, I'm going to have a little tidy up and then go off and have something to eat. And then that will probably be it for today. So I'm going to call it here um, and I will be back in the office again tomorrow. So I will see you then. Good morning, pals. It is 9.35 on Wednesday. I am definitely not feeling 100% today. Um, my kids have been off school ill Monday and Tuesday and very suddenly last night I started to feel not that well um, which is really annoying because I feel like I had so much to do this week I didn't get off to the best start on Monday anyway and next week I am scheduled to go into hospital to have a routine surgery um, so next week I will definitely be out of action so this week I was like I could really do with just getting ahead a little bit um, and now I feel like crap to be quite honest um, but I'm still going to try and get some things done today I've got some low effort jobs to get done I've got some listings to get on Etsy so I might try and do those just now uh, and I'll probably give up by lunchtime because quite honestly I do feel rough um I've taken some paracetamol hoping it will like pep me up a little bit and I've got myself a hot honey and lemon thankfully I've got no orders that need to go out um we got all that done yesterday uh so yeah, I think I'm just going to do some Etsy listings that I need to get done and we shall see where we go from there. uploaded a few cards to Etsy because I did a couple of little cute illustrations the other day um, and I intended them for just 
just like generic thank you cards or like I love you kind of cards. Um, then I realised actually if I could tweak them slightly and turn them into Frank's in here. Um, I could tweak them slightly and turn them into Mother's Day and Father's Day cards. Um, but you could use them for anything. They're quite, they're quite generic. One is a little rock and it says you rock. Um, you could use that for a birthday card, a thank you card, an anniversary card. So I kind of then thought, well, if I list it as like a Valentine's Day card as well, it definitely fits that theme. Um, but also I thought if I change it so it says mum you rock and dad you rock as two separate cards as well then you could use that as a mother's day card a father's day card like a thank you card specifically for mum birthday card specifically for mum so um, I have been and uploaded those and the other one I did um, was a little shrimp or a prawn we call them prawns don't we they call them shrimp in America um, but that says you're shrimply the best and again I did the same thing put mum or dad on the front of it and thought well you could use that for Mother's Day again Valentine's Day um anniversaries a thank you card birthday card um it's got so many uses like I I tend to not design these cards with like one thing in mind I, de I definitely think you could use them for like loads of different things um so yeah, they're all listed on Etsy. I'm just not exactly sure how I'm going to list them in my online shop. Whether I would just, I might just do like one listing for like the shrimp card and then you choose from the options if you want it to just say shrimply the best or mum you're shrimply the best or dad you're shrimply the best. I might do it like that just to make it easier because otherwise it's going to look like I've got like multiples of the same card in my shop when I haven't because the wording is slightly different on each one and um, see so yeah, I might just do it like that for my actual website shop honestly I'm so tired <laughs> it's not even like I didn't sleep I thought I felt like I slept okay last night but yeah I think I'm just I've obviously got the kids lug which I'm not best pleased about all I keep doing is yawning oh what am I like? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get those two cards very quickly uploaded to my website as well. And then I don't know what else I've got on my list for today. I really want it to work on the Bloomin' Marvelous bag a bit more, but I don't have the energy today, I really don't, which I'm really gutted about. I might just get, hello, Frank's trying to escape. Um, I might just get these last little bits done on my website and then retreat to the sofa and try not to do too much else today in the hope that tomorrow I will feel a lot lot better than I do now. Ugh. It's always a drama. Hey Baba. You sleepy boy. You handsome. Yes, you are. Good boy. Right, I have literally only been in the office and working for like an hour, but everything feels so hard. It feels like I've been here for a lot longer than an hour. Um, but I have got my cards uploaded to Etsy. I've got one more to design and get on there, but that's not going to happen today. Um, I've got them listed on my website as well. And I did do the drop down variation thing. So um, when you click into the card on the website, it then gives you an option of what wording you'd like. So if you'd like it to say just shrimply the best or your shrimply the best, um, or if you'd like it to say mum, your shrimply the best or dad, your shrimply the best, you've got those options on there. Um, yeah, my brain is not, not braining today. Um, so I think I'm going to call it there. I might do a bit more work from the sofa, maybe. There's a noise outside and he just went absolutely nuts at it. So I just decided it was easier just to pick him up.
to stop him from barking. Um, but I am gonna call it a day here, pals, because I just don't feel good. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that I can get no, that no, that no, thank you, thank you for the kisses. That was lovely. Um, I'm hoping that I can get a bit of rest in today and then come back tomorrow feeling a lot better than I do right now. hear me over the silhouette um, I don't normally come in here at night time well I do but I don't often film it because it's this is probably gonna be like really grainy um, when you actually come to see this the lighting in here is not brilliant um, and I get in like I get a nice amount of like natural daylight coming in in the day and um, which is nice but at night time obviously you don't have that so this is probably gonna look a bit rubbish um, but it is still Wednesday. I feel a lot better than I did this morning. So I was like, I'm just going to go in the office and catch up on some stuff that I would have been doing today that I didn't actually get to do. Um, so I'm on to making some mini planner sticker sheets for the next goodie bag. I've included something in these that I don't, or we've never done before. So this is kind of a bit of an experiment. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing those now and I'll show you when they're done. Fingers crossed, they come out good. frothed this latte. Good morning. Oh dear, it's very bright in here today. It's quite nice. Um, good morning, pals. It is Thursday. It's currently 11.30 a.m. My face looks horrible today. I do not know what's going on with this makeup, but it does not look good. Um, but never mind. Uh, it is 11.30 on Thursday morning. I intended on being here by like 10 a.m. and I've just been incredibly distracted this morning so I have not made it into the office yet. Um, it's flipping freezing in here, it's really cold um, which is why I've thrown this cardigan on. Um, this cardigan is so comfy but I hate the colour. Um, I bought it on Vinted and it was advertised as being green it's not green. I, I was expecting it to be like a kind of military green. Um, it's like the weirdest kind of brownish grey colour. It's just, it's a very odd colour. Um, and I really don't like the colour, but it's really comfy. So um, I've been wearing it a lot recently because it's just cosy and comfy. And I'm like, oh, I could get all snuggly in here. Um, but, I don't know what that accent was. Um, but... Yeah, that's why I've got cardigan on this morning because it's freezing in here. Do not judge me on my fashion choices today, okay? Um, what are we doing today? Um, can you tell I feel a lot better than I did yesterday? Yesterday morning, I was just like, couldn't even <laughs> function, couldn't even think straight. Uh, today, I feel much, much better, which is nice. Um, yeah, so what have I got to do today? Oh, because I came in last night, didn't I? Um, and did these little seedling mini planner sticker sheets so 
In the goodie bags, I thus far have tended to do miniature versions of um, and when I say goodie bags, I'm including the 12 Days of Christmas box in that. Um, I've done miniature versions of planner sheets. Um, usually they're like this size. Um, the mini ones are this size. Um, the reason being, if I did them this size, the goodie bag would have to be so flipping big, it would just be silly. Um, so you get like a mini version. If, you, if, I get, if I put planner sheets in a goodie bag, they're going to be mini versions because it means that the the bag doesn't have to be massive. Um, so that's what I spent last night doing. And I've got quite a few of those there. Today, I want to work on the die cut sticker that is going to go in the goodie bag. There will be at least one die cut sticker. Um, and actually, I'd love if you could leave me a comment and tell me your opinion on this. Um, if you have if you bought the previous goodie bag or you're thinking of buying the next goodie bag when it releases what would you prefer would you prefer that you know exactly what you're getting in the goodie bag and that you want to know what you're spending your money on or would you prefer to have a rough idea of what you're going to get in there but not be shown everything because you'd like it to be a surprise um in my head in my mind i'm like you, i i need to show everything so that i can almost like justify what you're spending your money on um which i guess is like a little bit of imposter syndrome on my part because i guess i'm kind of just thinking like well why would people just want to give me their money if they don't know what they're getting for that um but yeah let me know what your thoughts are on that if you bought the last goodie bag or you're thinking of getting one the next one that releases um because yeah like i say my thing would be to just lay it all out this is what you get and this is how much it is but i realize some people want more of an experience than that so you might want to keep some stuff as a surprise um that said i might not end up keeping anything as a surprise just because <laughs> i i forget what i filmed and what i haven't so um yeah i'm not very good at keeping things a secret because i'm i get excited and i'm just want to be like look this is what you're getting in your goodie bag isn't it amazing um but yeah if you would love it to still remain a surprise um leave, leave a comment let me know what your thoughts are on that anyway i'm gonna get on with making some stickers i'm very distracted by my own face at the minute because i'm like this makeup just looks really bad <laughs> um it is what it is at this point i don't care enough to go and do anything about it but i am a bit like oh god that does, that does not look very nice today um anyway shall we make some stickers <laughs> I have I can't remember how much of making these I actually filmed because I'm trying to film for YouTube and reels at the same time and I've got myself in a muddle um at one point I was using two different phones um one that doesn't have like a sim card in it, it I was just using it as a camera essentially so I was using one to record for YouTube and another to record for reels so I could record both at the same time but I don't know what I've done with the other phone it's in this room somewhere but I'm not sure where but I have now got a whole stack of um little pansy stickers I don't think I've introduced you to this character so this is she is a pansy but I really want to call her primrose 
she looks i don't even know what primrose looks like let me google that real quick okay yeah primroses and pansies are not the same thing um they don't even really look that similar to be honest but although she is quite clearly a pansy for some reason i keep calling her primrose um but yeah this is i'm gonna have to name her pansy really aren't i this is pansy i have to stop calling her primrose because she's not um she's very very cute she almost looks a bit like a pokemon um and if you take off her hair <laughs> which are these like top petals she kind of looks like a blueberry um but all in like she's definitely a pansy um and yeah it, i i didn't draw her like it, wanting her to look like a pokemon but after i did it i was like she could totally be a pokemon but she's she's definitely not like <laughs> she's just a pansy um but this is the kind of the main character for the next goodie bag although she is the main character she's not um she doesn't feature as heavily as cupig did i feel like the cupig goodie bag was a bag of cupig whereas the pansy goodie bag is it's called bloom and marvelous and it's pansy is definitely in it obviously but um it's kind of more of a floral theme than a pansy theme does that even make sense i hope it does um but i have yeah, just done these little cute little you can see that they're holographic little holographic stickers and they say you bloomin got this um because you do bloomin got this okay uh so yeah that's what i've done just now um and i add that i'm going i'm gonna do two die cut stickers for this goodie bag um or at least two because while i was drawing this one up I also had an idea for another one um so there will be mini planner stickers at least two die cut stickers um and what else oh yeah there's a mini card as well which i have already designed but not printed yet so i might get some of those printed out um the planner sticker sheet i've got a half of one here because i got look how bendy this is this was a dud because i found my other blade the the one that i launched across the room i found it and i put it back in my machine because i don't know if the blade that i replaced it with was just a dud because i was having to cut so deeply with that blade i turned it up to like seven and it still wasn't cutting all the way through the sticker paper this is the original blade and i cut the this part of the sticker on a blade two and it managed to cut all the way through and i had to adjust the settings down so it wasn't as wasn't cutting as deep so i think the other blade was a dud so i now actually have a few um of like dud sticker sheets because it took me a few goes to get my settings right again but what i have got on this sticker sheet is a mini and it's very mini a mini washi tape kind of sample i'm not in a position i do not have the cash flow right now to have washi tape manufactured the reason being to make it cost effective you have to buy so many units right now it's just not an option for me but i would love to do a washi tape and i thought my balls beeping i thought what better way to have a go at washi tape than to do a sticker sheet that has essentially a couple of bits of washi tape included in it and yeah maybe one day i'll be able to bring out an actual roll of washi tape but today is not that day this is my little collection of things so far they look really good together i'm really pleased right pals i think that's gonna be the end of this studio vlog um i feel like i haven't edited the vlog yet obviously but i feel like this one has probably been a little bit chaotic and all over the place. So well done to you if you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Have a good one, pals, and I will see you again soon.